everyone, it's Miss White here with your craft project. We're going to focus on recycling things that were in the garbage. So there are two books that it's inspired by. All That Trash, the story of the 1987 gar garbage barge and our problem with stuff, written by Megan McCarthy. This is one of the books that it was inspired by. The other one is called Magic Trash, the Tyree Guyton and his art story by J.H. Shapiro, illustrated by Vanessa Brantley-Newton. We're going to specifically think about Tyree Guyton. In that book is a house that he called the Dottie Waddy House, and that was the inspiration for this project in particular. We're going to create a house made of trash. Here's the front door. There are a couple of windows. It has a pointy roof, and it is covered in a whole bunch of images, colors, letters, words, and other things that came from the recycle bin. So this is going to be our project today. Here's what you need to make it. You're going to need a TP roll or tube. Maybe if you're using one that was longer from paper towels, cut it down a little shorter so it's about this size. You're gonna need a scrap piece of paper. Maybe it's an envelope or homework from two years ago or a receipt anything that you can find that was going to be in the recycle bin. You'll need a little piece of cardboard. I'm using the side flap of a cookie box. As long as it is a little bit bigger than the circle that is created here, then it'll totally work. We're going to need a dark marker and a whole bunch of recycled images. I like to use the ads from grocery stores. There's lots of colors and words and things on them. So find something that was going to go in the recycle bin and keep it for this project. We're also going to be using squeezy glue and a glue stick. And we'll also need a stapler and a pair of scissors. Let's get started. We're going to begin with the images. Our goal is to cover this whole entire tube with pictures, words, colors, textures, anything that you see that looks appealing or nice. So I am going to just go through and find whatever, any colors, any textures, anything that I want to add to my trash house. We're going to beautify it by adding all of these different colors from anything really. And I'm not worried about what exactly these things are, what exactly these words spell out, because I will be overlapping everything and it's going to come together in a way that looks just overall colorful. If you find a color that you are really drawn to, you could cut out some shapes from it. Maybe you just cut out some dots like this. They don't have to be perfect, and that's actually the great idea, the beautiful thing about this. It does not have to be perfect. Just like Tyree in the story, um, he really did find beauty in weird things like vacuum cleaners, shoes, and discarded bicycle wheels. So our goal is to, like I said, cover this whole tube. I like to use glue stick for this because it's not very messy and it dries really quickly and it's easy to overlap these images. So here we go, asparagus. I'm just gonna put some glue on the back of you and just randomly add it to my tube. Wrap it around. Great. Next, I'm going to find something else, anything really. This looks like a delicious pepperoni pizza. And I'm just gonna glue it down so it covers up part of the other image. Press it down all the way. Okay, here comes some more pizza. And I'm gonna make sure to add glue all the way to the edges. It's better to add it to the paper first, then stick it onto the tube instead of putting the glue on the tube. 
Here comes some more vegetables. Are you noticing a pattern here? <laughs> Tomatoes, pepperoni pizza, asparagus. I think I'm ready for lunch. Okay, now I'm gonna look for some more images to add because I still have some blank spots here and here. One of the things that Tyree did was he created so much color there was like not even any blank spots on the things that he made so I don't really care what this even says I like that it's a whole bunch of text and when you look at it far away it kind of just looks like it's gray and a, a fun pattern almost like stripes so I'm gonna just add that you could be using magazines or old cookbooks that nobody wants anymore. You could be using junk mail that nobody wants. You could look in the recycle bin in, in your apartment complex or in your home, fish out something that's clean, find something that looks like it's worth saving and rescue it. Okay, it's looking pretty good. I might add a little bit of something right here. Looks like I have some room for these dots that I cut out. And I'm gonna be mindful of where those are because I don't want to cover them up. Just like in the Dottie Waddy house that Tyree created, I'm putting these dots right here, just in one little section. Now, if you feel like you wanna draw on this with a Sharpie, Maybe you want to add more things from a magazine or anything else. You're the artist, so you get to decide what your trash house looks like. But as of right now, I feel pretty happy that I have it all covered. And I'm feeling pretty happy about my little group of dots right here. Nobody likes a dried up glue stick, so I'm going to put the cap on. And the next step is to make the roof. So you are going to find a piece of cardboard that's pretty sturdy. Think about what color you want your roof to be. And I think I'm gonna put it right about in here. Now, this is bigger than my cardboard tube and that's exactly what we want. We want it to be bigger. You're gonna draw a circle around the cardboard tube that's bigger than the cardboard tube. And cut it out. It doesn't have to be exactly perfect. I am gonna make it round though. All right, so now that I have my circle cut out, the way that we're gonna make this pointy is to cut just to the center of the circle and then stop. You're gonna make a slit like this. Now watch what happens when you just overlap one part Now it creates this pointy roof. One more time. I'll show you like this so you can see. See how it's split? Just put one over the other. Ta-da! I'm gonna staple this in place. Now if you don't have a stapler, you could tape it. Just add maybe kind of a lot of tape so it doesn't unravel. Okay, here we go. It's a little bit tricky, but you can do it. Got it. And to add this to the top of the house, it's gonna take some squeezy glue. You could use a glue stick, but you are going to need to glob it on kind of a lot for it to stay on well. We're gonna go around the outside of the top of the house and I'm globbing it. See how much I'm putting on there? Don't be shy with the glue. This roof needs to stay on. Okay, that looks pretty good. I'm gonna add the roof and I'm gonna press it down and let it sit. While that's drying over here, I am going to draw a door and some windows on my scratch paper using my dark marker. You could make a door or a window any way that you want. This piece of paper is already pretty straight, so I am going to just kind of guess how big the door is going to be. There's a door knob. 
Maybe you want to have some little windows cut into it. You're the artist, you decide what your door looks like. Then we're gonna draw a window. You could do one or two, however many you want. So I'm just gonna draw a window right next to it. We're going to be cutting these out individually. There's a classic looking window, right? You know exactly what that is. If you wanna add color, Maybe you want to put some curtains in the windows. Anything you want to make it your, make your trash house beautiful. So I'm going to cut these out individually. And I'm really taking care to make sure to keep the bold outlines because that's going to make it show up really well. There's one window. Here's my second window. And I'm going to trim down the door and add it using my trusty glue stick. Go all the way to the edges with your glue, make sure it's nice and sticky, and pay close attention to where you're adding it. I was really happy with these dots that I spent a lot of time creating, so I'm gonna put the door right here next to it. Cool, here come the windows. It could be a two-story house, it could be a one-story house, you get to choose. Added some glue to the window here. Be really careful not to bump the roof. Add some more glue. And I think I'm gonna put the other window right here. There, if it's not perfect, it's a-okay. I kinda like it not perfect. No one likes a dried up glue stick, put the cap back on. And there is my really fun house that's made of trash. I hope that you are inspired to look in your recycle bin and save some things and use it in your art. Thanks, bye.